Despite reporting enormous revenues in the previous quarter and growing deliveries at a faster pace, Tesla's stock is presently finding it difficult to break above 200. Though the price of Tesla's stock is unaffected by these fundamentals, its recent values appear to indicate that investors may have better times ahead. However, given that the stock price is starting to rise following weeks of straight declines, may this be the moment for Tesla investors to sell their holdings. Greetings and welcome back to all things Tesla stock, folks. In a video posted to a business conference held concurrently with the G20 summit in Bali, Musk acknowledged that he has had to manage an increased workload since taking over as Twitter's new owner. The CEO of Tesla claimed that he was working seven days a week and that he had too much work on his plate. But since taking over Twitter, Musk has had a lot on his plate. And for many Tesla investors worried about the company's future, this is the reality. It will take a lot of effort and time to get Musk's new business back on track to generate significant profits. In a prior discussion with Twitter employees, Musk had warned them that the company needs to generate more revenue than it spends. If it doesn't, there will probably be a huge negative cash flow, which might result in bankruptcy. Any updates lately? Even though Musk had declared he was done selling company shares, he continued to sell Tesla shares in order to finance its Twitter deal. Since Musk committed a significant amount of money to acquire the platform, Twitter is undoubtedly a risky business for him. Should Tesla and its investors be concerned about it as well? Let's investigate. But before we do, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and switch on notifications buttons if you enjoy this kind of stuff so that we could be updated on everything Tesla has going on. Several experts, including Dan Ives, expressed their satisfaction with Elon Musk's decision to sell Tesla shares in order to fund his Twitter transaction. Many of them also contended that Twitter was an unnecessary undertaking for Musk. Tesla stock was recently taken off Webb Bush's list of greatest ideas when Dan Ives reacted to the selling of these shares. Ives cited the overhang from Musk's involvement with Twitter. According to Dan Ives, Musk is now more focused on Twitter than on Tesla, which has led to worries that the Twitter debate may have a detrimental effect on Tesla's reputation worldwide. The stock analysis indicates that Musk is slowly taking Tesla away from its enormous position of strength and that he is accomplishing on his own what the bears have been doing for years without success, smashing Tesla stock. It's crucial to remember that Tesla is operating profitably and will do so even with Musk's involvement with Twitter. The automaker's outstanding fundamentals will help to maintain and increase its profit margin going forward. Tesla reported overall revenues of $21,454 billion and a gross profit of $5,382 billion at the end of its third quarter. This represented about 56% annual gain in overall sales. The automaker's operational income increased to $3.7 billion in the third quarter, year over year, and yielded an operating margin of 17.2%. In an effort to meet its car production targets, Tesla is heavily focused on increasing output and has started to expand in the majority of its factories. The automaker is getting ready to expand its Berlin Giga factory significantly. According to reports, Tesla is requesting an extension of the property's building restrictions in addition to increasing production output at its German operations. A report claims that Tesla is getting ready to clear the land so that its German manufacturing may expand. Tesla can create even more EVs by scaling up at these factories, which are now experiencing record high production values. Some people who are allegedly aware of the automaker's intentions claim that up to 2 million automobiles might be produced annually at Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory. That is more than twice as much as Volkswagen's Wolfberg plant produces which is one of the biggest auto factories in the world. According to a different report, Tesla projects that there will be roughly 12 million electric cars on the European market. Although Tesla remains silent on the matter, a run rate of 2 million vehicles annually would enable the electric vehicle manufacturer to control roughly 16% of the European electric vehicle market, a sizable portion of the EV market in the area, and it will probably significantly increase Tesla's numbers. But if more vehicles are manufactured, there might be a lengthier wait for Tesla vehicles. Particularly for a Model X, wait times for new Tesla vehicles appear to be getting somewhat long. Thankfully, things are now mostly on the steady upward. While there are still wait waits for the Model X, up to 11 months in fact, most of Tesla's portfolio is available more easily. Therefore, customers won't always have to wait a long time for their car to be delivered. In general, the wait time varies depending on the Tesla model you purchase and occasionally the premium accessories you want for it. 
some of the main reasons that this demand may be decreasing, and these concerns have gotten stronger due to concerns about the supply chain and inflation. Fears of a recession are growing in the U.S. as authorities talk more and more about the need to inflict some economic pain in order to get pricing pressures under control, despite the Federal Reserve's continued bullishness in combating excessive inflation. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates for the fourth time in a row in September, as was generally anticipated. This follows a number of earlier price increases. A decrease in consumers' purchasing power due to rising inflation implies fewer individuals can afford Tesla. Tesla vehicles are already pricey. As of March 2022, the Model 3 will cost approximately $48,190 and the Model S will cost approximately $106,190. Undoubtedly, Tesla vehicles are pricey, but the cost is largely justified. The automaker recently declared that it had begun to distribute the FSD version 11 update, which is intended to be a more widespread release for all FSD owners in North America. Tesla vehicles may now go autonomously to a destination specified in the navigation system thanks to the FSD beta. It is regarded as a level 2 driver aid system, even though the driver is ultimately responsible for maintaining awareness and control at all times. This is because the driver bears the duty, not Tesla's system. Despite its moniker and a few updates that saw a regression in driving capabilities, Tesla is getting closer to realizing its full self-driving technology aspirations with the release of version 11 which will raise demand. Aside from the FSD, one thing that might drive up demand for the automobile in the future is anticipated EV credits in the US. Additionally, these credits will probably apply to a number of Tesla vehicle types. Since the Model I is still classified as a small sports utility vehicle under the law, it ought to be eligible for the latest EV tax incentives. The maximum manufacturer's suggested retail price which is greater than the base versions in certain other Tesla EVs is $80,000 based on its pricing for SUVs. Additionally, if the Cybertruck's MSRP stays over $80,000, there's a chance it will be eligible for the EV tax credit when it does go on sale. It's all predicated on that. The batteries and essential minerals required to meet the standards for the tax credit are sourced, and Tesla's Cybertruck is manufactured in North America. The switch from internal combustion engines IC to electric vehicles, EVS, is already substantial and will only increase in the future. The car rental company Hertz revealed some results regarding EVs eroding the ICE residual values in the future during its Q2 earnings call this year. Hertz affirmed that in terms of cost, depreciation, maintenance, and customer happiness, its electric vehicle fleet, which consists primarily of Model 3s, continues to operate better than anticipated. Hertz found that after comparing EVs and iced cars, EVs only need 50% to 60% of the maintenance that ICE cars and EVs require, and that depreciation is also much less. Additionally, it stated that EVs outperform ICE cars in terms of customer happiness. Despite their current limited market share in the car industry, electric vehicles still have a huge amount of room to expand. There are a number of reasons why Tesla is increasing its market share. During its Q3 results call, the manufacturer said that higher average selling prices for its cars, an increase in vehicle deliveries, and greater expenses associated with raw material logistics and expediting could all affect its operating profitability. Does Musk's Twitter deal have an impact on Tesla? Please share your thoughts with us below, and don't forget to share your Tesla valuation with us. Go ahead and click on the following video to see more about what Tesla has been up to in recent days. Talk to you there.